My name is Philip Berg. I'm the Libertarian candidate for Congress. We're standing here in front of the Philip Burton building. Um, Philip Burton is a former congressman from San Francisco. He's famous for the phrase, money is the mother, mother's milk of politics. <laughs> he then appointed his wife, and his wife then became a congressperson, and then she coronated Nancy Pelosi. My sister said I shouldn't use the word coronation because that will turn people off. But the fact is, is that if you look at um, many political families, they are coronated. If you look at the Bush family, it started with a Senator Bush um, from Connecticut. It went to his son. Um, then it went um, to his grandson, the presidency, twice, plus a couple, a couple governorships. Um, Last night, I was reviewing um, Nancy Pelosi's um, biography and looking at the uh, Maryland politicians, the governors and the uh, congressmen. And in almost all cases, I could see repeats of names consistently. And this is in Maryland. I come from Baltimore, the same city as Nancy Pelosi. And um, I'm pretty much an exile there, as Nancy is. Um, I became a libertarian because I was searching for the solution for the really wretched conditions that most Baltimoreans live in. And I do think that the present political climate contributes to these conditions. So Nancy Pelosi's dad was a mayor when I was born. And I pretty much lived under Pelosi, Pelosi excuse me, a, a D'Alessandro Pelosi regime. Um, my entire 50 years. Her brother became mayor of Baltimore after her father was repeatedly mayor of Baltimore. And then she came here and was um, coronated because of her past family experience um, by Mr. Burton. Um, the critical issues we have today are Nancy Pelosi says she, she votes against um, things like the Iraq War or the um, torture bill, which was just referred to by the Greens. But the problem is, if you look at my website, www.choosepeacenow.us, you will see the video that shows her on PBS just a few weeks ago proclaiming her pride in having compromised with the Republicans to get that bill passed. So the basic, um, the basic way politics works now is the Republicans propose something to the left, to the right of Attila Hahn. The Democrats come back with a compromise slightly to the left of Mussolini. And in a great victory for the Constitution, they, they reach a compromise bill that's just to the right of Mussolini. So um, these are very serious issues. Um, also, in preparing for this today, I was reviewing the history of the Bur Selma to Birmingham march. This was the march that twice, um, twice was attempted and, and, and blocked at the bridge to Birmingham. First, the first time it was blocked, it was blocked by tear gas and by horses beating on the protesters. Now, people would say, well, Philip, this is extreme to be comparing this little press conference to the march from Birmingham, excuse me, from Selma to Birmingham. There was tear gas used there. But is the comparison really that outrageous? Now, rather than tear gas, we have a blanket of complacency that coats not only this city, but the entire country. And San Franciscans need to wake up need to stop sleepwalking, need to understand that if they continue to do what they've always done, as Einstein said, they will still get the same result. And the definition of doing that is insanity. So I ask San Franciscans to reconsider their habits, look at the present situation. And just one last thing, Nancy Pelosi said, that um, she will deploy, redeploy the troops from Iraq. Um, if she becomes a majority leader, she will push for that. I only hope that she doesn't redeploy the troops from Iraq into Iran.
Thank you.